Hi, it's Emma from Myasco and I'm in the Croxteth Greenhouses and I'm going to show you how to take cuttings from houseplants. And we're looking here at Croxteth, we've got the uh, national collection of coleus. Um, some people call it painted nettle. And we're going to take a few little cuttings and when you do a cutting, you get a clone, like a perfect copy of the plant um, that you're growing. So we need a clean pot. We need some, just multi-purpose compost will do, but it's good, you don't have to have this, but it is good if you have something like perlite. It just comes from a volcanic rock and it just adds drainage and air in, into, so I'm just gonna mix that up, a little bit of that into the soil. Don't worry if you haven't got that, you can just use, um, you know, multi-purpose compost. So I'm just getting the pot ready first. So I'm just putting some of that in there. You can also use a little bit of grit for some house plants. Got some grit here. Um, this is really good for things like succulents and cacti and things like that. So I've got my perlite mix in there. Now I need to look for a lovely cutting. So you're looking for like a little bump, like a little node. And that's where like all the hormone is, it's gonna set out a new root. So I'm gonna cut just below a node. And what you have to do is you have to remove some of these lower leaves. Because you want all the energy to go into the new root production rather than giving it to these leaves. And you can cut across some of them. Some gardeners prefer to leave the leaves whole, some like to cut across. Now, this is rooting powder. You don't have to have this, but, but you can use this. I'm just going to dip it in the bottom. It's debatable whether this is useful or not, but a lot of people like to do it. And then just with the edge of my finger, or you can use a pencil, I'm going to poke a hole on the outside edge of the pot. I'm just gonna snug it in there. You tend to put cuttings around the outside edge, they tend to do better, they're sort of snug at the side and there's less moisture loss. So I could probably fit about four cuttings in here, I'll do one more. That's a good one. So find the node, cut just below the node. So a node is like where a leaf comes out. I'm going to leave these leaves whole and see which do the better. So you leave a few on. So it's important that you don't poke it down because you might cause damage. So either use a little cane or your finger or a stick or a pencil, anything that's close to hand. Okay, and then you just give them a water and leave them in a warm place. If you don't have a um, a heated greenhouse or a, a greenhouse as such or you haven't got space you can't leave them in a room in the house and you can put like a little plastic sandwich bag over the top so it's like a little mini greenhouse